So Diogo is someone who I rate extremely highly. Uh, had fantastic games against him. Um, so I was really interested to see his game on the Champs Channel. I'm going to go and break it down, see how we're doing, um, and move forward. Hello. Um, finishing the oil exam today went well. Oh, awesome, Ivan. Good to hear, man. So, let's kick off. I'm not going to reveal the result of the game. Um, we're just going to play it through, and then we're going to talk about talk about the game. So, Diego's playing from right to left. Play. Lovely. That's nice dribble inside. Nice. Good play. Let's go back. So he drives down, so he's here, gets it with Hernandez, this is lovely. Beats that guy, beats that guy. I think if, if, uh, if he takes his foot off sprint, he could maybe have a shot here. I think he sprinted too much. We just jump back a little bit. You see this large touch? So he takes the ball around that guy, he's here. If he takes his foot off sprint, takes one touch inside, I think he can shoot. I think he sprinted too much. Um, so I think if he takes his foot off, uh, foot off sprint here, there's no, I don't think there's any reason to sprint, just because he's got such a large gap. He literally just needs to take one touch and he can bang this, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. So he beats that guy. He just needs to slow down, take one touch inside, and I would be looking probably to drive it near post with a, with a low-driven power, uh, green time, but you could also, you know, step and finesse. I That's what I think anyway. Um, yes, there we are. So that that would be what I would have done there. He cuts it back, uh, but the, just the cut the, the cutback's not on, and I see why he plays it. But with the way the FIFA is right now, as he cuts back here, it's all blocked up. What he needs to be doing is, unfortunately, and I don't know it's frustrating, but he needs to be dribbling all the way back and then looking to play it like like that. Um, I think the pass across. You've got like Van Dyke, uh, whoever this is, and, and this defender all, all are going to just be covering this area here. What he needs to be doing is dribbling further back and then looking to lay it off and power, power, power blast it. So the other gent gets it away. We've got the scores up right now. We're going to be doing some work, so um, I'm going to pay not, not much attention to the bottom. Nice tackle. Well played. That's a good ball. That's great dribbling. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. That's, that's a good play. Yeah, what's going on, man? Um, so, Diogo right now has completed, in my opinion, two plays which resulted in almost a goal. And he hasn't lost the ball once otherwise. So, that's a really good start. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. Like, loss of play alternate options i think it's um i think it's really really valuable that's good play nice interception good ball nice good dribbling i think he rushed a little bit there but that was good dribbling i'm see i'm considering that as a finished play yeah welcome in the man love to, love to see you man Jesus Christ, Diogo. I think he could have done more with that. That was really nice. So he steps this guy. Nah. He, he does, he, 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 if Neymar hits it with his with his left foot rather than his right, that's the correct play. Not like that. Not sp Neymar hits it. That was, that, was, that was perfect. So that's the third play is completed. So... Right now, Diego's had four plays that I considered, like, successful. Nice recycle. Heel to heel. Lovely. Yeah. No, nothing he can do. I think he takes a shot on. I think that's fine. That's a good play. I don't know if he greened it. I'd be interested to know if he greened that. Because it looked like a yellow to me. Back. Show some dribbling. Nice play. I think here... Diogo could be definitely, so as he goes here, one touch, I think he should be crossing it here. 
because I see. So what you're doing with this cross, by the way, if if, if any user wondering, because um, I see this play a lot. They take the corner here, they they do some dribbling or whatever, and then they go back down here, flick it up, and then cross it to the back post. But if you look right now, like this, what you should be looking for is look at this clumping of players here. You've got a defender here and a defender here. Vieira is completely on his own, and he looks like he's going to be making it into there. So I think the ogre should be playing this cross right now. I think he takes one. It, it takes too long. I don't think you need to chip it up. Also, I think over sprinting too. So as he beats the guy here, look, he doesn't need to sprint. He just needs to take like just dribble back whilst walking, flick it up. And then cross it to the back post and head it in. I think that's what um, I think that's what the correct play would have been. I think the big touch from Neymar is wrong here. That that takes far too long, and this group of the players ends up like it, it ends up the cross ends up going weird. Yeah, just into there. I think he needs to yeah not sprint. So if he drags back, doesn't sprint, just jogs, just takes really little steps and then flicks it up. Back post to score. Clear. Yeah, I got it, Adam. Thank you. So we win the free kick. Oh, that's sloppy. I wonder if he saw it. That's a miss pass. That's two miss passes, in my opinion. Get on side. That's a great ball. Ah, do we do we concede from that? Oh, that's so tragic. So we win the free kick, which I don't even think is a free kick. What do we do? Try and play it quick. It's just really, really good reactions from this player to predict this pass here. I just what you gotta consider, and like this is this is a like a note for quite a lot of things, is like why are you making that pass? What it, it, honestly a lot of it's just like a, a cost benefit analysis right why are you making this pass here how much is it going to benefit you are you going to get a goal scoring chance is that worth playing in my opinion it's no in my opinion it's no what i want to see from top players is them working an opportunity from here with like a cross into the box and some nice like running movement or, or, or at least just take the free kick lay it off and then continue i don't think he needs to force it and we actually concede from it that's a good ball really aggressive with david louise and i think I don't know whether that's frustration. Forward to the right was a better shot. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, AK. I'll take it back. Thanks for coming in, AK, by the way. Short and to the right. Do you mean this guy? Just into there. I think what you gotta do on these free kicks. If, if people are wondering, all you got to do is wait wait for them to show which player they're switching to. Yo, Gareth, welcome in. Wait and let him show, because once he's shown that he's switched to this player, this player's always on. Like, you just got to wait for them to decide. Let, let him decide first. How are you, sir? That was my short. I'm really well, AK. Okay. Yeah, I think I think this is the direction I want to go with in terms of like a FIFA channel. I think analysing games is, is what I absolutely love doing, so we're going to... We're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think. I think like, you just all you gotta do is just wait for him to show, to show this, and once he switches, then you're free to play the other three passes. It's a good ball, and then I don't know whether it's frustration with David Louise or he's just trying to be defensively aggressive. But you see that he sets this run here, uh, and then he drags his centre back out, and obviously that's just a perfect path for for whoever he's set up on the run. Um, so I think I, I don't know whether it would be frustration, but. Um, this move with uh, David Louise out here costs, but because he's just going to charge through, right? There you are. Look, it's a great ball, but there's just no cover, and like he could just play it anywhere in there, and this guy's gone. Hopefully, you turn pro next FIFA. I think I think coaching's really what I want to get into, Gareth. Yeah, too aggressive. Yeah, for sure. He just needs to play safe. But all right. By the way, these these this this like this concept of analysis. I'm not trying to bash on people. I'm genuinely just trying to improve gameplay across the board. I think there's very few people diving into video analysis, and I think it's a sort of specialty I have and something I'm, I I believe I'm quite good at. Um, so in no way, by the way, am I ever trying to bash on a player. I'm just trying to bring to light other decisions they could have made that that would benefit them. And obviously, this is hindsight, right? So all, all hindsight's easier. 
Um, but it's it's good to have a discussion. So it plays it down the left. Hernandez, good triple in. Nice. Mm. He likes that Lacocata. I see why he tries it, but um, I think his better option is to take a step and then Lacocata. I think Lacocata in from standing is obviously just going to... Like, you got to think about way, the way the skill moves. I don't know whether he, he wishes to take a step forward here, but if you do the Lacocata phase in this way, it's going to take you at a sort of angle like this. If he just turned his character and Lacocata, it'd take him out there. So I don't know whether that's an empire or not. But he loses the ball, so... This guy's on the counter. Nice. Good, good aggressive defending. That's a great ball. Back sticks on. If you can make it. Oh. That's incredible. That's such good play. I wonder... It. That is so good play. That's a great ball. Yeah, it was gameplay. This is Diogo, 1906. It's on the Champs channel, so I just ripped it straight from the Champs channel. I'm wondering if he could play this ball into the back post first time. He scores off it, but I'm just wondering in terms of thought thought process whether this cross crossed his mind or whether this character would get in the way. Because um, he is just like a step ahead of him. I wonder if he could have chipped it into the back post. Uh, it still scores, by the way. His wide man is too deep. Do you think? Do you think uh, Hernandez is too deep? That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Virgil covers it actually. But this is incredible. Look, look at like when we're trying to learn from games. It, it, this is also for you guys to watch like some top class play. Watch how composed Diogo is here. Like he stops the ball, he dribbles inside. Look, he knows. So. This is the way Diogo's playing this. This guy is already showing that he's covering like this area here, right? He already he already shows that he doesn't want him to cut inside, so he just dribbles. He just dribbles inside. That is ridiculously composed. Look, holds him off with the RT. So right here, Diogo's holding like right trigger for the shield, and he's just walking. That's ridiculous. That's so good. And now he's waiting, and I mean he finds this. Uh, what version of CR7? I actually would have to ask Diogo. I'm going to message Diogo after this, and if if, if he if he wants to to see it before I upload it or anything, if because if he doesn't like it, oof, there he is. Let's go. So he, he finds this ball here, which is incredible, uh, and Hernandez steps back. Boom, nice finish. Yeah, what's going on, Birch? Good to see you, man. There's a little handstand. So we go again. How did he win the ball back? Guy from kickoffs. People's kickoffs are so bad sometimes. Yeah, sprinting too much. It's a great ret ret return. It's a good ball. I think this is something that, like, I think people is an LT shield. Did I say RT? Did I say RT? I meant LT. Sorry. I meant I meant I meant the shield button. That's my that's my bad. That's my bad. Um. Yeah. I think it. I think I think it's LT. Now you've got me questioning myself. I'm pretty sure it was RT. No, because RT sprint. Anyway, regardless. I think what you can learn here is... At, so do you know when someone brings the keeper like this? So like even in this situation, you've got two defenders here. You've got a keeper charging you down, like there. Um, so Diogo does the right thing. His only option is to go into this area, right? But I think all he needs to do is to ball roll sidewards and then finesse. Um, as he as he gets to the ball here, if he takes, I think his best option is to take one like a ball roll and then a finesse, because um, he's not chipping the keeper because the keeper's gonna like do some goofy stuff when with the, being this close. Uh, he tries to take the touch around him, but the keeper's not committed hard enough. I think one ball roll and and finesse is is the correct option, because the big touch takes too long. Um, I think yeah, I think, I think ball roll finesse for me is is correct. So as he plays this ball. Yeah. Like we'll get that. Always. 
Less lateral movement, but quicker skill. Yeah, because what you're wanting, that's exactly it. That, that, that's, that's, so Mr. AK said um, he would like a cat of it, always forgot, forgets about the ball world, less lateral movement, but quicker skill. Yeah, because what you're wanting, all you're wanting to do is do a tiny little shift so you can finesse it, right? Because if you finesse it right now, the keeper's going to handball it or whatever, which is shouldn't be included in FIFA. But the, the ball roll is like one of the shortest skills that gives you like a, a complete side movement as well. Because you've got to remember, when you're doing a La Coqueta, it's going to take you sort of forward and to the right. Um, and that, I think that's where the keeper would cut it. So if you just ball roll, finesse, I think this is a goal. He's really lucky so far, his opponent. Good interception. Pass it. Yeah, cover the run. That's great. Look, look, like, I like highlighting stuff like this. So when people get broken down in behind all the time, I know it's, it might not be that important to sort of high-level players, but look at Diogo here, right? So the only danger is this Hazard, who he's just LBA'd with. So he's just like, LB and A. He's just sent him, him on this run, right? Diogo knows that already. So all Diogo does, he goes and covers this run. Now, that puts the emphasis on the opponent to then, you know, go back. But going back's not a threat. He's not going to go to this guy. That's not a threat. There's no threat except for this. Diogo covers it perfectly. Look, because what this guy was looking for is, like, pass inside, play down the line. Diogo cuts that right out. That's beautiful. Overstepped on the left back there. Did he overstep? Did he move that? This left back. Yeah. You've got to be really careful when you switch in. So, Diogo goes, I think he's trying to grab David Luiz, he's trying to grab the right player, um, but he actually goes like Alex Tellers, Hernandez, like one, two, and then ends up on here. But because he switches to Alex Tellers, he actually takes two steps forward and lets him in behind, which is really annoying, and I think it might be a play, um, player switch issue. Um, Yo, know, Reaper, what's going on, man? I think it's a player switch issue, but watch this. Let me slow that. You see how he switched to him? Um, he switched to Tellez now, look, 1-2, and then switches. But this 1-2 is bad enough that this guy gets in behind. It's so frustrating to watch. That's a good ball. You've got to be very careful when you play switch. That's a good turn inside. That's a great ball. Whew! That's a finish. That was a mate. That was, that, was, that was really, really well played. I think the player switch was what killed him there. The player switch is what killed him. You've got to be way careful when you play switches. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I guess he, yeah, I guess he's just trying to play the down the line through ball. And it just plays out. Bizarre. Good ball. Oh no! Not a chance, yo. That is. That's sad. Oh, I'm just sad. Oh. I don't even know what to break down about this goal. I don't think. I don't think you can even comment. That's just really unfortunate. The only thing I will say about just for, for Diogo is that, like, he's really actively switching on his defenders and moving them at, at, in different ways. Um, so, like, he steps here with Ferdinand. And then he steps out here. But he's, like, pulling a, a lot. And I, it may be a defensive style thing, but he, he moves a lot. Yo, what's going on, Daniel? Yeah, it's unlucky. Like, look where David Luiz's spot is right now. And look at this. Look at this defensive line. This is the danger of playing really aggressive is that your computer doesn't pick it up. Uh, that you Because, the, like, this guy, if you were playing, like, perfect football, this guy stood here, right? Uh, but he's not. And then... I know what he's doing. He's trying to cover this run. Which is the, the correct play. And I don't know how Butagreda... One stays on his feet. Two. Oh, Ferdinand. Oh, garbage. That's really unlucky. He even moves his keeper the right way. That feels harsh. That feels really harsh. Good 
Pff, mal okay. That's super like difficult. Nice dribble. Nice dribble in. Needs to cross it there. He, he, like he has one opportunity and he, oh, like although I so bad I know it shouldn't happen but was going to the goalkeeper then left back but let's say we've got to stop that I, I think he slides anyway AK I think the slide is like just what was going to happen with Ferdinand I don't even know how it might have even been in it it looked really goofy so I, I don't really want to I don't know where he was intending if he's intending to the goalkeeper or, but like the slide is goofy Here, like, let's go dribble in. As he turns, he's got he, this. He, he has to make a decision here, um, and it's it's terrible because you don't want to just whip it into the box. But like, as this play develops, these guys just push in. I think the only way that Neymar can go now is to go really far out wide and then try and come back round, maybe. Because I don't think you can turn in. I don't think you can turn in here. I think you have to dribble up here and look to try and, like, scoop back round. Which you may try and input. Yeah, you can't account for that, shouldn't, for sure. Good passing. Good defending. That's nice. Got a good counter here. What does he do with it? That's a great ball. Lovely. Nah, that's a pen. I was gonna say, I thought he didn't give it. Are you doing game breakdowns? I am indeed, indeed, Toby. Yeah, ball, out, ball, roll out. Exactly. Okay, that's what I talked about on the wing there. Ball, roll out. Turn back. That's the only way you can go. So I'm assuming he scores this. We can skip forwards. I'm gonna try and make the games maybe not too long either, because this is a long game. So we're gonna we're gonna jump forwards. We're gonna jump forwards to his goals, because. I don't want this to be a hundred million like minutes long. That's oh, Diego's dribbling is just gross, man. Like, look at this nonsense. Beats the guy. Step. Like, what's great, and and, and this is what you got to know about skill moves is like goal and miss. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I was gonna do like I'm gonna do a fa a fair amount of like in depth ball loss breakdowns, and then I'm gonna just gonna jump through and do the goals. Uh, just to try and keep the game short, so we can have some sort of in depth and then and then sort of surface level analysis. Um, look at this dribbling here, by the way. Good turn. Watch this. But it, what he does is he uses he uses Ronaldo's physicality um, and understands where he can put this ball um, and be completely and utterly safe. Watch this. So look at the look at the angle that Van Dijk's moving in here. He like La Croquetta's upwards almost, right? And and Ronaldo's got the physicality. Gets me typing away. Yeah, 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 for sure, AK. For sure, man. I think, I'm, yeah, but I just don't, I'd rather people be able to watch it on YouTube or whatever and not think it's just going to take them like 40 minutes. Look at this skill, right? So if, the first skill's La Croquetta. This is just knowing the differences in players. Ronaldo gets away with it. Um, and then like, where can he go here? So he goes forwards. The space he needs to work in now is here. So what he does is he does like a little step over and then heads this way, which I think is brilliant, by the way. There. Gets the stab from Balak. Draws the stab. And then nice little touch inside. Beautiful so far. And then he baits this, right? Because he steps inside, which makes people scared about the shot. And then Lacroquette is this way, taps it in. That is just beautiful. Like, I can't explain to you enough how beautiful that is. It's such a good play. But I know this goes to extra time. That's why I'm cautious, AK. Let's skip forwards. Where's the next goal? Ah, right, here we go. This is where the game breaks. One second. Media, open file. The other part two. There we are. There we are. So, we're leading up to a goal right now. I had to pull these from Champs Channel, so... That's great passing. That's really great, good passing. Let's have a look. Is there anything we could have done here? So how do we lose the ball? So we're here. It's a good ball. I like Diogo's aggression. It's something out of respect. 
He's unlucky not to get the ball there. William, I can't believe William holds the player. He's covering that pass, which is nice. Yeah, one, one thing... One thing that is the danger about this... Um, this type of play is like... Watch how he crunches the defence. And it's either he wins the ball back or he concedes here. Watch this. So he takes the last man. He takes... Um, I think it's Ferdinand, and he pulls him upwards, right? And it creates this really compact area, which will win your ball back a lot of times. But also, the danger is, watch this. Look at look at this clumped area here. Look at David Louise, by the way. I don't I don't know why David Louise is covering this spot. And and maybe once you take, if you like, this is like two high level stuff. But maybe if you're if you're intending on taking this step with Ferdinand, you call the offside trap and force David Luiz to run forwards. Because David Luiz, if, if if David Luiz runs forward, this play never happens. So maybe if you're trying to be really aggressive with this Ferdinand here, like here, you need to be calling the offside trap by, by pressing down on your D pad, down on your D pad, because. Depth in his CTs. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's absolutely true. I, I don't know his CTs. I might, I might, I might actually ask him uh, if he's willing to give me it. Why is Louise is there? Yeah, for sure. But what I'm saying, AK, is... Like, obviously, I'm talking super high-level, like, gameplay. And I think this is where people can definitely improve. If you're, if you're looking to take this step forwards here, he's looking to be aggressive. He should be spamming um, offside trap, in my opinion. Because he's wanting to step. Now, if you're wanting to step, you want your defensive line to step with you. So I think I think a play that people can make is is to push everybody up, because David Luiz, look at that. This is why he concedes. It's a he can't believe he finds that ball with Jao Cancelo either. It's a really good touch, and just to compliment him as well, who is his opponent. Watch here. So as he gets here, the amount of people who are going to try and turn inside and shoot um, is insane. This guy's composure to not turn inside because that's the obvious play, but to dribble out around the outside and then shoot across. That's like really high level play. Look, so he shows that way, look, for all intents and purposes, if you look at this, like, freeze frame here, um, it looks like he's intended to come this way. He actually snips it this way, and I think that's really good play. But yeah, David Louise keeps him on side. I don't know whether it's worth he has to spam the, the, off, the offside trap. All right, let's move forward. We'll get... Because I just, I just didn't want it to be too long, that's all. Oh, no, for sure, Toby. For sure, man. That's a really difficult thing here, but a really difficult... Um, set to play, but it is just double down on your left analog stick. So, but yeah, the problem is you're obviously using your thumbsticks, right? So you, you're going to try and. But I think if you're looking to make an aggressive play with Ferdinand, like you are going to fall victim to your defender straying back because the computer is intending for Ferdinand and Luis to drop back, but you're grabbing Ferdinand and moving him. I'm not saying it's correct. I'm not saying it's easy. But, like, I'm just, I don't see a lot of people use it. And if you're going to try and step up like that, I think that's the, the, the spot at which to use it. Okay. Oh, his dribbling's just disgusting. He's dribbling so good. Look how composed he is. Look, look at this here. Look at this. He has two players versus one, two, three, four, five to work with. This guy's covered. This guy's covered. Look at this dribbling. Everybody, this this is what I'm talking about when, when I was speaking about the other guy with the way he turned outwards and then shot rather than cutting inside. Watch Diogo here. Everybody's going to predict you moving inside. That's the natural play. He actually, the only road that he's got is straight. So he uses a, 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 um, a, um, an X and A or a, circus, um, a B and A and holds it directly forwards um, and manages to sort of truck through this little gap and then lovely dribbling to cut inside, passes it. Beautiful. Look, gets the stab, beats him. Oh, look, look, at the, look at the speed of reactions here. So he gets the stab and as he notices, I don't know if he does this on purpose, he notices the stab, he actually inputs to come back and then realizes that the guy's stabbed in and that he needs to come this way. Watch. Dush, dush. Just unreal. Great pass across, great tap in. That, that is unreal. Like, that is such high-level dribbling. I can't even explain to you. So, I think this goes to extra time now. With Oh, no, we get a goal. My apologies. 
Yeah, we do go. We go to extra time. So this is extra time 4 4. This has been a good game so far. He, he's, had, he's had an unlucky goal scored against him. Good play. Yeah. How does that gap open? He passes there. Passes there. Passes there. It's just unfortunately it's the it's the negative of, of aggressive defending and this is like when I talk about when people press you have to play pressing perfectly else you concede right so Diogo steps up with Dumfries doesn't make the tackle that's unfortunate he plays it back down this is the gap now this is the gap Dumfries left so now he brings Ferdinand over to try and deal with this gap right but then pulling Ferdinand over then lets Ibra in behind and then he has to bring David Luiz up, and then it lets this guy in, right? So, like, because he doesn't win that initial challenge with Dumfries, he's having to make then more aggressive plays to try and sacrifice it. What he should do is, if he doesn't win it there, he should just chill. Like, the I don't know who this is on the back post. It doesn't look like someone very tall. If it's Ibra there, I'm more concerned. But he should just funnel him down the wing here. He should just force him down the wing, because this is way too aggressive. He should just be tracking this run, in my opinion. Because he plays the like, he has almost like an overlapping rugby, right? So Dumfries is gone. He then brings Ferdinand, then brings David Luiz, and then eventually ends up getting getting cut apart. So look, he doesn't make that tackle. David Luiz is way out of position now, and David Luiz being out of position is actually what causes this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drag. He just needs to. He just needs to step back there, um, because basically. If, if this was a correct setup and he'd not been aggressive, um, um, we'll call him one. Ash. So, like, one, two, three, four. So, they're, they're the four players who should be in your defensive line. What it should look like is it should be, like, one, two, and then Louise is number three, should be here, which would then stop this run through, but he's not. Hey, pure gaming center, thanks for the follow, man. And then four, obviously. Um, so the fact, literally, the gap opened is a result of Dumfries missing the tackle, Ferdinand then closing Davies, David Luiz stepping across to Ibra, he gets the overlap, which is good good movement from the other guy, but um, it's a great finish as well. Really confident. Let's move forward. I'm going to try and wrap this game up just because I'm, I'm conscious of it going too long and people not wanting to watch. Hey, big, biggest Dias. Thanks for the follow, man. Right, let's watch that goal. I love how Diogo works in space, though. It's crazy. Good dribbling. Yeah, beautiful. That's such a good set. Gets the belt rebound, which is unfortunate. But, like, look. Look how Diogo deals with this. This is the one thing I used to struggle with. This guy's got one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players behind the ball, one guy up front, and he's got his goalkeeper. And Diogo manages to find his way through, and it's with fantastic dribbling. Look how he pulls this guy out. So Diogo ball rolls, steps, and does a, like a little, uh, like I guess, 180 to pull this guy out, finds the pass, finds the second pass, dribbles, scores. Look, there you go. Pulls him, pulls him, still manages to get the pass off. Now, he's operating, like, his Ronaldo is now basically in a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because, I mean, this guy's close, this guy's close, this guy's close, but he's got enough time, which is what he does, is to receive the ball in, he scoop turns, and then fires. I think that's so good. Look at, look at the space. He's managed to find, within a thingy of nine, he's managed to find, like, gaps. It's unreal. It's such a good play. Great finish as well. And then we'll finish up with the last goal. Let's go dribble in. Oh, let's have a look. I think Diego pulls players out of position. I need to start further back. I need to see where everybody's in. Because we're in a good four right now. Really aggressive with Dumfries again. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely AK. Okay. I definitely think that um, the aggressive style of play is costing Diego though. Because he pulls, again, pulls Dumfries, and the, the ball ends up going in behind. And this guy's been operating with, with this space a lot. So he gets down. Ooh. 
Look at Cancelo, man. I don't know how he ends up with Cancelo there. Let me watch Cancelo. Yeah, he's dealing. Ah, it's so it's so weird. I'm trying to understand. I, I wonder if. So this is what I'm I'm guessing. I wonder if Richarlison's on stay forwards, right? I wonder if this is what happens. Because watch Richarlison. So right now we've got this situation, which is absolutely fine. But watch how it plays out. So this guy, this guy makes a bombing run forwards, right? This guy's coming forwards. So then Jao Cancelo has to pick this guy up. But this guy's completely on his own. This guy's like got the overlap right now, and this is what causes the problem. I wonder if Richarlison's on stay forwards. And if he is, I wouldn't I would I would advise him to take him off because he's not picking this run at all. Look at Richarlison, just not caring. Because then what happens is Jao Cancelo picks this guy. He brings Ferdinand over instead of dropping Ferdinand back, which I don't mind. Um because he ends up trying to cover the space because Anderson and has got him. Um, but we're in like a three on three, but we've got a double mark here. So then he has to pick him. He can't pick him. If, if Richarlison's on like come back on defense, Richarlison's going to cover this run. Because this is what I do cost him as watch. So watch how this play plays out. Richarlison doesn't care. So we cut back, play it into feet. This guy is still way on his own, by the way. Because uh, these this this is how we were set up before, right? Um, and he brings Cancelo out. I don't know whether it's... Uh, it's so hard. Because he brings Cancelo out, who's supposed to be on the far left, and that's what ends up cutting him. I think what he should do is he should be grabbing Richarlison and trying to trying to get back. And then it's weird, and I think he should be AI defending, and I, should, I, never, I shouldn't ever advocate for it, but, like, this should be a massive red flag here. Like, this is scary. Because, watch, as the ball comes in... Good, good little bit of passing from the opponent. But look, he, he, I think he's double double pressuring as well. I think he's double pressuring. Because Cancelo moves way up on his own. I think that's, I think that's a problem with the double double pressure. Have a look. That's, I mean... I, why is he there? Not playing him all, all the way on side. I see this a lot, and I don't know whether it's custom tactics, but the double pressure without Ferdinand stepping up is rough. And we end up losing because of it. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. Right, yeah, that was my breakdown of uh, Diogo's game. Um, none of it is intended critically. It's just trying to help people develop, um, and I think a great way for, for me to learn about FIFA as well and for my channel and for, for hopefully the people who are going to watch this um, to learn about how to, you know, sort of figure out exactly why games went wrong. Diogo was dominant in this game. I think he's, one of his problems is he's very aggressive defending and this Harvey's PM RTG figured out how to constantly play him behind where he was leaving the gaps from aggression. So just to consider that.